In summer droughts like we experienced in 2015 in British Columbia, it's quite common for some wells in the Gulf Islands or Vancouver Island to go dry. Climate change is expected to make these droughts and water shortages more common. Meanwhile, we often take rainfall on our rooftop for granted. This example celebrates the rainfall, treating it like public art as it falls to the infiltration swale below. But why don't we use this relatively clean water rather than waste it? As climate change creates more summer drought conditions and water prices go up, the use of rainwater harvesting and reuse will become increasingly attractive and common. In dry climates, like Australia, rainwater capture systems are almost universal. The technology is well developed. Key elements include a rainwater storage tank and a pump that repressurizes the water. Roof gutter and rainwater leader technologies have been developed that keep debris out of harvested water, including diverting the first flush of dirtier water away from the tank. An overflow is always provided for when the tank becomes full. In Canada, above-ground tanks are possible on the BC coast near tidewater. In other areas of potential freezing or to save space, underground tanks are used. In this example, the underground tank is piped into the basement. This system allows for makeup water from the municipal system if the rainwater tank is dry. An air gap assembly ensures that no rainwater can back up into the municipal potable water. The rainwater piping through the house is clearly marked and kept separate from potable water systems. The rainwater harvesting system shown saves 55% of domestic water use. Inside the house, it takes rainwater to toilets, to laundry, and dishwasher. It uses a smart controller to minimize irrigation water use outside the home. Reductions in outdoor water demand are provided by the pervious paving driveway, by low water use plantings, and by limited lawn, as well as good quality and deep topsoil. This home was Canada's first single family home to win Leeds Platinum by combining innovation in water, material, and energy technology. Another first has occurred in the Nanaimo Regional District where its Drinking Water Watershed Protection Stewardship Program is unique. The Regional District is cooperating with stewardship groups and the province to monitor watersheds and groundwater aquifers, providing environmental and water conservation information. The Region has recently published a technical guide for rainwater harvesting and have created a development permit area to promote rainwater harvesting in a part of the region with poor groundwater. A financial incentive program for rainwater harvesting is a part of the region's sustainability initiative. In addition to homeowner scale rainwater harvesting, larger scale applications of water treatment and reuse have been constructed in Seashelt and at leading developments at UBC, Victoria and elsewhere. These innovations are highlighted in the water treatment and reuse module of this video series. The time to adopt rainwater capture and reuse is already here in British Columbia. We expect to see many more installations and a move by both developers and governments to encourage use of the technology. We will see a lot more of this kind of sign as climate change proceeds, using harvested or recycled water instead of wasting water that is treated to drinking water standards.